Thank you so much for coming. Uh, how's Scotland treating you? Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, a little chilly, but beautiful. It is, and a little yeah. bit rainy, but thank yeah. you for coming. It's uh, a beautiful city. The, the, is, is this on? We'll warm, up, on? warm up. Hello? Is mine on? The heater in my room wasn't um, working, and so the woman came in, and I said, did you figure out what was wrong with my heater? And she said, I closed the window. And I was like, okay, <laughs> all right. It's very Scottish, okay. But it's, I, as I'm getting older, I, my timelines are going all w weird for me. We're, we're not getting older, we're witches. So oh, go yeah, ahead. You yeah. Said, yeah. Said, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. Because I, I was like going, oh, it, it's 1996 was when yeah. it first came out. How's that going? No, but it was only last a couple of years ago, wasn't it? I no, know. it's not. It's quite a while ago. But still, there's so many people who still remember and love Thank the Thank God. TV show. Keep watching. Thank God. So a, it, a lot that are introducing the next generation. You know what? Yeah. We're, we're on our fourth generation of people who have watched this show. So we've got, where are the originals that watched it when it was on? Wow. And then the after school people. Yeah. And then the people who force their children to watch it. Yep. No, There's no, there no nervous laughter there. Yeah. But I have to say, you know, when we were doing this, we knew, we knew it was a successful show. We knew people liked it. But we had no idea people would like it for 30 years. Thank God. You know, yeah. and it's so wonderful for us. Is it, is, it not, is it nice to see all the, like you say, the generations of people? So it's, is it great just to, the impact that you've had on people's lives? And is it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a gift that keeps on giving. The thing, well, we, I, you, I've always heard for years, like, I grew up with you, right? So everybody loves to say, I grew up with you, which is wonderful. It's so great to hear. But now, the show's been on so long, people are like, I go to bed with you. So, you know, like, I get it. I go to bed with friends, or How I Met Your Mother. There are shows I go to bed with. Explain that that's the show friends, not oh, the going to bed with no, friends. No, I go to bed yeah, with the yeah, show yeah. friends. Yeah. Ross and Rachel, you know. I go to bed with friends, and then, yeah. I go to bed with yeah. the office, the whole office. They all come with me. I think it's, I love when people say I grew up with you, unless you're older than me. Stop it, okay? Stop that. <laughs> Well, that's, I used to get recognized and they would say, did we go to school together? Recently, I've gotten a few people being like, were you my teacher? I yeah, like, no. I, 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 I can teach her <laughs> a lot, yeah. I hate it when I have the movie children that played my children over the years and I've done 47 films and so sometimes they'll come up to me and go, like this guy with gray hair and belly out to here and he's like, I played your son. And I'm like, yeah. really? <laughs> oh my God, I don't need to know. But it, it makes my job so much easier because already we've got people queuing. If, you, if anybody's got a question, we're going to try, because there's so many of you that look at it. It's already, everybody piling on. If you've got a question, come down to the front. There is a microphone there. If you want to speak directly into the microphone, just come down this, come down this central bit. We'll start going now because can, otherwise we won't get through Can I just preempt something? Yes, the cat was real. Okay, just, I'm just telling you. So. <laughs> and here he is. So we've got our first... Question, tell okay. us your name. Hi, hi there, I'm um, Reese. How, how are you all doing? We're good. We're good. Great. Um, when you first found out that you would get to play a real a witch, what were your emotions and how do you feel? I think for me, like I was a fan of Bewitched and I Dream a Genie and other shows that had that kind of magical escapism. And, uh, you know, those were shows I loved. and. When you have a show that has magic in it, you can do anything. So you know that that show is gonna have like endless possibilities. And you know, if there was something we wanted to do, we could tell the writers and they might write it in. Like I wanted to meet the Violent Femmes. So the Violent Femmes are in like the third episode of the show. Or Blondie, I, wanna, I wanted to meet Blondie. So Blondie is part of the Witches Council. So you know, I knew that that was gonna create some really fun elements that we were gonna get to play with. Like, you know, if I wanted to be as I was Alice in Wonderland or a trapeze artist. I got to do that, so that was fun. Um, I identify as a witch, so it was just totally normal for me. And <laughs> the only difference between myself and Hilda is hair and makeup. <laughs> I have to agree. I think we are, both, we are both so completely and utterly typecast in our roles. But uh, I read the script and I was like, oh yes, well, I'll be doing this. It's from another, another planet. It's a different realm. That's where I live automatically, you know, so. It was really weird at the audition because you had all, well, for mine, when I came in, all these actresses, we were, like, trying to figure out how we would do the magic. So there's all these women, like, oh, or, you know. When we settled on pointing it, 
The, the first season, I was the pyro witch. Every time I would do a spell, like, it was fire. But our pyro guy was a lunatic, and we set, he set Jenna's pants on fire, and... Libby, yeah, Libby. Libby. And, and a few other people. Yeah, and if you see me in, those first, in that first season, when I do a spell, eventually you'd see me, like, total fear in my face, because I knew there was going to be an explosion. I'd be like... She's like this. Yeah. Oh. I'm, like, shielding myself, like, okay. I'm like, you have to open your eyes. She's like, I can't. <laughs> it's going to burn me. It's going to burn me. Yeah, that guy was, that was a mess. That guy was a loony. <laughs> Thanks for your question. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Next up, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Layla. I just wanted to... Okay, first of all, kudos for your Sabrina 90s outfit right there. <laughs> and the cat. Very good. I can't believe that you recognize it. Oh, that's you, it. That's my great day. Um, it's about outfits. So which one is the most memorable episode that you have? Like, I live for this outfit. Oh, for the outfit? Oh, outfit? The episode. Oh. Did you see her clothes in this that she's got at her booth? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So some of the outfits I have... Thank you. Nice segue. Um, some of the outfits that I have here, there's some by my booth, and then there's some others that are back in a trunk. They're going to be auctioned off along with all of my original scripts. Um, so if you guys keep up with either my social media or on monopolyevents.co.uk, you can find out we're going to do an auction coming up very soon with all of my scripts, some of my outfits, my shoes from Dancing with the Stars, like <laughs> portraits that people did of me. Um, I think one of the things it's I did like in the movie... It's like the most amazing I mean, memorabilia. It, this, one, this one by my booth right now is like the butterfly top, and I had a fuzzy pink jacket. I, st I kept the jacket, but I'm, I'm giving away the... or auctioning off, I should say, the butterfly top. So, um, and there's like a blue, the blue leather outfit that I wore in the rock and roll episode with yes. the Backstreet Boys. That also one we're going to auction off. your whammy fammy outfit. You can't say that here. <laughs> what? You can't say that word here. I said fammy. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. I know what the other one means. I said fammy. <laughs> what outfit was that? I just remember you look super, super adorable in your thing. Okay, I just want to explain my outfit right here. <laughs> I mentioned casually one day that I kind of liked animal print. And for the next four years, I looked like a tiger, okay? <laughs> Every episode, I'm wearing an animal print. And I'm just gonna tell you, this was a photo shoot, and Zeldarg, which is what I call her, she didn't like the grown-up outfit. This is a teenager's outfit. This was supposed to be for Melissa's, one of the high school girls, and, and Beth is like, I'm wearing that. <laughs> I just yeah, want to I have to you. say, it got to a point with the wardrobe mistress where I was like, I, it, is, it is true that I can wear skin-tight orange rodeo pants, <laughs> but I'm not sure I should do it all the time. Uh, because she always had me in like, la, la, la. but I kept a lot of my clothes and I wore them for decades. I mean, I, I'm still the same size, so I, I wore a lot of them forever. But I don't really have a favorite. I have a favorite necklace that I wish I was wearing it right now that I, I kept and I keep it, I keep it safe. Um, I just want to tell you, um, Beth, her real name, and I, we just did a Christmas movie together for Hallmark. I don't know if you, do you guys get Hallmark? They call it the Fammy Channel. And um, <laughs> I, I think there's an I and an L in there. I think it's the Family Channel. I know, I was making a joke. <laughs> anyway, I wore an outfit from Sabrina in it as like a little Easter egg. I and then I had to wear it like the entire movie. I kept saying, why are you in that I'm again? Like, it was the, it's like, the jacket that I wore on Mars, which, by the way, is my favorite episode. Anyway. Also, you and Phoebe for Friends, they shared some pieces of clothes as well. I noticed it. Wait, wait which one? For From the cast of Friends. Yes. That is some outfits Can that you he believe does it? wear. As we say in America, bitch stole my look. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say thank you for like raising me. Like, where, where are you from and where did you watch it? I'm from Argentina, so I watched it twice. When I was a kid, of course, I watched it with the voices on, on Latin like, yes. speakers. Yeah. And after that, I was like into, I need to learn English. So I knew Sabrina from A to Z, like all the scripts and everything. So I started to watch it in English. So it was a very good exercise because I really knew the dialogue. So. You teach me English, you teach me how to dress, you, like, you're raising me. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank I you hear we person. speak great Spanish. <laughs> yes. And German and all the languages. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Next up, we've got, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name's Becca. Okay, the lady behind you teaching us. <laughs> <laughs> question? Um, we, yeah. we don't like being photographed from below. Stand up. He <laughs> <laughs> did. Um, I was just wondering, it's a bit of a, a take on like the Netflix Sabrina show. I don't know if you've watched it, but I was just wondering... No, I don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead. <laughs> they, were, they were both in it. <laughs> they were something... <laughs> um, but I was just wondering like what your take was, considering sort of like the massive difference between your show being quite family-friendly and comedy compared uh, wait, to... Like, they have our names, that's it, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a totally different show, right? Um, was, I saw pieces that we actually all... Netflix got us all, including Harvey, Nate, to watch it, um, to show us some of the scenes to see how it was different. It was, it was quite hilarious. If you go, I think it's on YouTube, right? Is it YouTube or? Yeah, they, and they filmed us watching it. Or Facebook? It. Caroline and I were in it together. They filmed us watching it, and we were like, oh! Yeah, Nate and I watched I it, like, and we were I like, oh, it's sexy. I would never let leave the house in that outfit. Yeah. <laughs> we were, yeah, we were like, the cat doesn't talk. I'm confused. Yeah, I was really angry but, about that. Uh, okay, first of all, they have sex in that show. And like, a lot. The one time and Melissa had to watch me like kiss someone because I was marrying them, she was like this, Ew! Gross! And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, we weren't allowed our show because of the Archie comics and because of the nature of the Archie comic that we came from. Because I know they're also an Archie comic, but they're from the new family of the Archie comics, um, which is a little racier. Uh, we weren't allowed to like cross a street unless it was a crosswalk. If we got in a car, we had to put on a seatbelt, all these things that we had to do. And we weren't really allowed to do anything but kiss. Right. But on that show, then they showed me and Nate part of it, and it was like, the girls are gonna seduce the boys, and yeah. then all of a sudden the boys are all making out together. I was like, what is going on here? We were not allowed to do any of it. But, I, tried, um, I tried to watch that show. I could not get past the um, episode about the sleep demon. Oh, yeah. It's like scared the crap out of me. I was like, I can't. It was giving me like a bad dream. But these two were in the show. They were in an episode. <laughs> yeah, of the we show. did yeah. do an episode. We went up and But did we an are episode. not the actresses who ate the person. Let me just be perfectly clear. <laughs> not that episode. I was like this you can find an extra in Canada that looks like me. I'm not eating her. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your question. Can we go to the girl in the yeah. chair? Can we just go there the first the and then? Hi, my question is, if you cast a spell, what would it be in my... Oh, I hate to travel, so I'm going to have to like sit in Heathrow this week for a long time. And I'd rather just snap and be there, so that would be mine. If we can make any magic? Yeah. Uh, I think the spell I would hope for is President Harris. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I think I would cast a spell to make everyone who wants to say something ugly say something lovely instead. Mine's purely selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for your question. Next up we've got... Hi, my name's Robin. My question is, if you could be in any horror movie, what would it be? If any horror movie that exists? I would be craft service, because I'm too scared of horror movies. <laughs> The Orphanage. The or I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in one called Nine Dead. Um, I would probably want to be in the Orphanage. No, I don't want to be in the Orphanage. That one's too scary. Um, I don't know. Well, what's Scream. Your, Scream what, was so fun. I would want to be in Scream. What's your favorite horror movie? Do you like them? Um, Scream. Yeah. Scream. Or Stranger Scream. Things. I'd love to be in Stranger Things. You won't believe it, but she's in a horror movie. Tell them what you did. I was in a horror movie uh, called Timber Falls. And, uh, and I, was, I, I was very naughty. And I chopped people's fingers off and did all kinds of things. So I was really, really the bad guy. But it was so scary to me to be in a horror movie that when I had to loop it, even though I knew I was the killer, I was still like, oh! <laughs> no, no, tell, them, the tell them how you killed a man eight times bigger than you. Oh, that was a different... I was in a movie called Are You Lonesome Tonight? And they go... And, and they go, okay, so you've killed him and you've hung him in a meat locker. And the, and the meat locker like, was like way up high. And I was like, he weighs 300 pounds? How did I get him up there? They're like, you were really passionate. I was like. 
Okay, but that's a little bit of it. Like, he's literally four times my size. And I hung him on the hook because I was mad. Oh. Then, then they just were like, yes, that's, how, that's what happened. Um, shout out to the Wookiees on the side there. Shout out, Wookiees. What's up, Wookiees? There's a lot of Wookiees. <laughs> I, I think there's a lot of swagger in the stormtroopers. They're kind of scaring me. I love the kilts in the stormtroopers. <laughs> I know. The kilt in the stormtroopers, that's, that's a good one. Thank you so much for your question. Thank you. Next up, he can do it himself. He's, he's good. He's good. Hello, my name is Richard. Uh, I did grow up with you, uh, Melissa, but not just Sabrina, from Clarissa as well, uh, from the early days. Clarissa um, fans him. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of all three of you. Um, saw um, Caroline last night at the stand. She was absolutely fantastic, as I expected. We dropped her off. We didn't yeah. come in, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, we were hoping there was we going to be like a wee table. We so. dropped you off and we Melissa were like, has we should have gone in. Melissa has been doing stand-up with me and she's hilarious. She also does that, little multitasker. <laughs> Uh, so my question is, my favourite episode is the Bottle Talent episode, and also the episode where you're... Wait, which one is your favourite? The Bottle Talent with the Backstreet oh, Boys. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, is that when you zap them in? No, no, no. Yeah. That was in sync. you zapped in. Which is the one? Uh, I no, I create a bottle of talent, yeah. and uh, so that we can be, we can win the talent show. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, the bottle and then the Backstreet talent. Boys okay, later on it. are like okay. playing basketball in an alleyway and find like the last oh, bottle. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. also the episode where you're fighting over the magic book with your cousins. The magic uh, book! Yeah, exactly. With Amanda? <laughs> no, no, the hillbilly cousins. Oh, the oh, hillbilly yeah. <laughs> I want the magic book! <laughs> uh, my question is... I forgot is, about that one. What is the episode that was most difficult to film or any episode that you didn't enjoy filming? So I, like, there was, this, there was an episode early on. I wanted a director who directed Clarissa to come direct Sabrina. Her name was Liz Plunka. And um, I really wanted her to direct one. She was going to direct this one where Sabrina gets stuck in her own bad mood. And I don't know if it was art imitating life or life imitating art, but I was in a really bad mood that week. And the episode wasn't working, and the episode fell kind of flat. It was one that... Uh, Is that the dream one? I don't know. I don't remember what There's, happened. That's in the it. only one I remember. I thinking, just remember what that. Are we doing? Like, the network didn't want Liz to come back and direct anymore because it didn't. It wasn't a great episode. So I really regret being in a bad mood that week and not being better at what we were like trying to work it out a little bit better. I guess. So that's one regret I have from the show of like an episode. But my favorite episode was probably Pancake Madness. But there were things like. I mean, there were times when we had the flu. I'm literally vomiting in a trash can in the episode that Egg Begley Jr. is in. Which episode? Uh, when, he, when he made his butt get Teacher bigger. with the big butt, yeah. yeah. So that one, I'm like literally vomiting and then say my line and then vomiting and then saying my line. And the, also the episode with my evil twin where I have to push her in the volcano. I'm standing out there and I asked Phil, our, um, our key grip, because I trusted Phil. I was like, well, you we had to stand on a volcano outside in the sun and I had been puking all day and I was just out of it and I was so afraid if I go up on that thing I'm gonna pass out like so Phil will you ca will you stand behind me and catch me <laughs> and so he stood down below just in case I passed out when we were filming that episode <laughs> so there's some episodes that it was like hard to get through those rigs too like when I'm like in Cinderella costume flying over the volcano that thing was really uncomfortable every time we had to fly it really hurt I had a GP that I had to go to because they jumped lima beans on our heads and they and they pulled something in my neck and then they flew me in a thing and all of a sudden there was blood in my urine. And oh. so, that, so every time I went to the doctor, he, he was like, and, and you did what? And I was like, well, I was flying. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, you were flying? And I was like, yes, I was flying. And I think the suit was too big. And he's like, I see. And I was like, and then there were lima beans. And he's like, lima beans. <laughs> like, so like the doctor was just like, okay, whatever. I think the episode where I drank hair soup. Because there was this guy I thought, I drank hair soup because I grew a beard. And there was this guy that I thought was really cute. And I was like, really? You're going to come to the set this week when I'm like in full beard mustache? Don't you remember? And then it just kept growing. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a good question. Oh, it's George. Hello, George. Hello, George. <laughs> My question is about Salem. What's the best blooper that's happened with Salem? One of my favorites was when the real cat was on set and Nick Bakai, who voiced the cat, would sometimes, for the first few seasons, because he was one of our writers, he would stand off stage and he would, he would talk, he would, he would say stuff live. And we had 
deviled eggs on the set. I don't know why. It's in our blooper reel, and this is why it sticks out to me. But the cat would just walk around, and he would just say whatever the cat was doing. So one time the cat was smelling the eggs, and he just went, mmm, eggs. And it was, I, I just, like, that one just tickles me. I don't know why. Okay, I, I thought she was going to rat me out. So I'd never worked with a talking puppet, okay? <laughs> and I've gone on to work with others, by the way. So we had six real cats. Our puppet, as I always say from the first season, looked like an alcoholic rabbit wearing a hairpiece. It was not... And it was like... It got a lot of work done, like many actors. And, um, but... So how it worked is there's this really long spoon and then there's like tuna fish at the end of it. And then you hear a click and then the cat would go for the tuna, but she'd pull it away so it would be like... So it made it look like the cat was talking. So after like two weeks, every time I heard the click, I turned. <laughs> so I was like fully trained under two weeks. Anyway. <laughs> what was the question? The cat? The cat. Well, like what was Favorite the cat's cat best blooper. line? Oh, oh, yeah. blooper. You know what? He was just, the cat. The, what, one oh, time we had to do this thing in, for syndication and he was with us, but it was live with humans. And the thing that cat said to people when they came up, was like, whoa, you got a lot of beer in your breath. We're like, okay, all right. Like he was, don't you remember that? He was. But, uh, the only thing you knew, but that my relationship with the cat was that, and this happens to me, like if you give me a prop phone, I'll just keep holding it. Like it, it, beca it becomes a real phone to me. And people would be like, Beth, why are you petting that cat? It's not, it's, a, it's a, not a real cat. I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. You would also find yourself talking to the puppet yeah. in between takes. Like, uh, what did you think? And then, okay, you're not going to answer me, are you? Or they would answer us as, like, the puppeteer. Cheers. Thanks, George. Next up. She's trying to pull the microphone down a bit. Here there you go. go. Hello. Uh, my name's Deborah, and uh, I'm one of the ones that kind of grew up watching Sabrina as a child. Um, my love of all things magical, which is all comes from you guys. So, um, so there was quite a lot of um, celebrity cameos on the show. Is there any you were nervous to work with? Well, somebody told me that I tap dance with Dick Van Dyke, and I have no memory of it. So I must have been nervous, or... I don't know. I don't remember it. I just showed her a picture of me with Dick Van Dyke. She's like, I wish I remembered this. I'm like, no. <laughs> it was. You did I think, work your I think ass it's because off. I was so worried. I mean, he po probably popped on set. We did our little number. I think we had a dance together. And then he probably left. So I'm imagining that I was so nervous about the dance and not screwing up with Dick Van Dyke there that I didn't even... I didn't even like talk to him or relate to him. I just was like, hi, okay, let's do it. And we did our little tap dance and then it was like, bye-bye, you know? So I think that's why I don't have a memory of it. But um, I you, mean, we, we had were so too, many. I never talked to Blondie too, or Violent Femmes, right. even though I wanted them. She was very intimidating though, Blondie. She, like I found, she was, she was amazing, but she was, yeah. it, it was like, really? Blondie. Like it was just mind blowing. Barbara Eden. You guys are awesome. too young probably. Does anybody remember who? I'm, I'm actually um, named after Blondie. That's why my name's ah. Debbie. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, wow. Does what? anybody remember the monkeys? Yeah. Okay. Well, we had Davy Jones on, yeah. who was hitting on Beth the entire time. <laughs> and he, he, was, he made me totally nervous. And I have this strange... Well, he was hitting on you guys. What no, no, he was hitting on her. I have the strangest nervous habit. Like, I'm with a musician, and I don't realize that I'm singing their music. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be like, hey, hey, we're the oh, I'm sorry. Like, it just, he made me nervous. He was like, well, childhood. he made me a little nervous because he kept saying, you're so tall. I'll just have to climb you, won't I? <laughs> and I was like, well, that, you won't, that's not necessary. So, you know, let's just, let's just not do that and say we did. But I went up to Deborah Harry and I said, you know, people always tell me that I look like you. And she goes, they do. <laughs> I like that. So that's my memory of her. Amazing. Thank you. That's your question. And next up, well, it's John. Hello, John. Hi, you okay? Um, I'm John. Uh, I'm a 90s kid, so I did grow up with Closer Explained to All Sabrina. Loved the shows. Um, I think my question's already been taken with Salem. I could say it again. I'll say a double quick question you can answer. I suppose the my original question was, what was the the funniest thing Salem has ever done to you on set that's made you laugh? Or if you've, if you've already answered that, um, when Sabrina ended, did you 
take, did you manage to get any props to take home with you, sneakily? Well, I took a lot of the clothes, that's why I'm auctioning them off now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't fit anymore, and I kind of run out of room in my closet, so you guys can have them. Um, but I, did, I, I took, um, oh my gosh, in the kitchen was this wrought iron yeah. mirror thing, coat rack, umbrella stand thing. Somehow that ended up in my house in Connecticut, which is all <laughs> the way across the country. Yeah. Um, so I ended up with that. I don't have the magic book. I think I just saw that it was auctioned off somewhere. Oh, really? Um, yeah, somebody, I think, just bid on that somewhere. I don't know who had it. Um, but I think the prop department was, like, raided and all that stuff's gone. But I do have some candlestick holders. And also in the kitchen, there were these, um, like, like, spice jar yeah. racks on the wall. And I have those in my pantry. Cool. I should my probably tell my kids not to put them. Cat was uh, oh. was when he had a he had a drive in on a fire truck. Yeah. And he had a wearing a fire hat, a live cat. And then he got up on the table to go put out the fire when there was a fire on the oh, table. He climbed, he climbed the ladder. He had to climb yeah. the ladder. And I went yeah. home that night and I was like to my cat, I was like, "Okay, I just want you to know that the cat at work today put on a fire suit." <laughs> drove a truck yeah. into the kitchen and then got up and put the fire out. <laughs> and you just lied here all day. Like. <laughs> yeah. um, I did steal one prop. It is my little mints that were in a Tic Tac when I had bat breath. <laughs> and I go like this. And there's a little bat coming out, which uh -huh. strangely I found during COVID. So I was like, I'm going to hide this right now. I thought that was uh -huh. weird. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. think I took any props, just that one necklace. Uh -huh. Uh, I took everything. Like everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, ladies. Um, I'd, I'd say probably for all of us, we all grew up with you, and it was a pleasure growing up with the Spellman family. Thank oh, you very thank much. You. Thank Cheers. you. Sure. Thank you. Next up. Hi, my Hello. name's Darcy. I'm younger, so I grew up with Melissa and No Good Nick, but like oh. also with Sabrina. So I was going to ask if... When you were like filming, was there anything that happened that wasn't in the script that got put into the show? Oh, lots of things. Oh my God. I mean, we once had to do this episode where, what is the one, it, it, the, what, what was the random, we basically, they put a smile spell on Beth and I, and Erin Kruger, who is the most amazing makeup artist. She's, yeah. She's, she does all of Brian Murphy's stuff. Ryan right? Murphy, she, so she did, yeah, everything yeah. from American Horror Story, yeah. she's doing Stranger Things right now, yeah. Anyway, they made these fake smiles for us. <laughs> like these, we looked like we'd been in a horrible fire. It was terrible. It was awful. And we were like, we could just smile, you guys. <laughs> like, and they had spent so much time making this prosthetic thing. Caroline and I used to make each other laugh so hard that we would cry all of our makeup on and have to go back to makeup, hair and makeup, and get it all put back on again. There was a lot of hysterical laughter. Yeah, I can't think of anything that... Um, she was working her butt off. We were laughing. So. I can't think of anything that, like, <laughs> off the cuff ended up in the, in the actual show. It was all very scripted. Like, yeah. what ended up on the screen was pretty much what we filmed. Um, even the cat. Like, everything was exactly as it was written, ended up on screen. I think so, Martin Mole improvised a lot. Maybe of stuff. Martin Oh my God! Yeah. You know Martin Mole was, came Mr. up with stuff that, and they were just like, "Keep it! It's so funny because you're so Martin darn funny." When Martin was, he was Mr. Craft. We we just lost Martin Mull. He was like a national treasure, a brilliant artist. And when you did scenes with him, I had to wrestle with him during Boy Beer. <laughs> and the whole crew. Did you marry him, or you married him? No, One of the you whole crew him. was laughing so hard. Martin was so hilariously yeah. funny. <laughs> Yeah. Thank, Thank you, question. Scary Raggedy Ann. <laughs> Hello, my name is David. Uh, I grew up with both shows, Corsa and uh, Sabrina. You my guys, talk closer to the mic. If you, right. pull, if you pull the mic, there you go, yeah. that's yeah. it. Sorry. Hello, hi. Uh, my question is, would you ever be interested in playing the role again, do you think? In doing it again? In would you play the role again? Play yeah. the role again? Yeah, I would love to, but I don't think that's in the cards. It's... Uh, the show was on, it was owned by Viacom, which then became Paramount, which then became CBS. It, so it's, it's very lost, in, so the, there's no chance of reboot. But I think it would be fun to all work together again. <laughs> well, and we love working together, all three of us, whenever we get a chance. Caroline and I just did a, uh, 
a Christmas movie for Hallmark called Holiday Mismatch. Melissa and I have done, we did Melissa and Joey together. We, we did, did a Very Merry Toy a Store. A Very Merry Toy Store. So whenever we get a chance, and we love being together, just period, end of story. But I don't think they're ever going to let us reboot Sabrina. I don't give up. You, you never know. Every other show in the world has been rebooted. Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah. They'll probably reboot The Chilling Adventures. <laughs> Bring it back again, yeah. Thank Thanks you. for your question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. Just pull, the, pull the microphone down. There you go. That's it. Just tilt it towards your mouth. And then, there you go. Um, so I'm Ashley, but how, but how did you think about the ending of Sabrina? Well, that's one of the reasons I wouldn't want to reboot it, is I think it ended perfectly, right? Serena riding off on a motorcycle with Harvey in a, in a wedding dress that wasn't for him. Um, but uh, I, think, I think it ended really nicely, and I think it would be really hard to, to kind of have another perfect ending. Um, what, what did you think? I mean, I liked the ending a lot. I was just wondering if you thought there could have been like a different change to it or something. Like I run away with Harvey, that kind of a thing. That'd be good. No, I think I actually really love. That's one of the reasons why I never wanted to reboot it. Like Clarissa never had an ending, so I always thought you could kind of bring that back and see what happened. But with Sabrina, it's kind of like it's kind of obvious. She's off with Harvey. They get married. They have some quarter mortal kids. You know, it's like or three quarter mortal kids. I don't know. I, I feel like. It kind of went like happily ever after, whereas like Clarissa never really had that kind of ending. So, you know what happens when you make episodes with people for so long, you actually sort of become family and you actually believe them. I, Melissa's constantly like, I'll, I'll sometimes just sign an email, Aunt Hilda, and she's like, "You're not really my aunt." I'm like, "Yes, I am." <laughs> just accept it, okay? So I, I think that. That could, I think we could do it again because we just sort of have the relationship in place. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that it's a little dangerous sometimes because there's the fan fiction, right? Everyone has in their head the way they think it should be. I mean, the ending of Game of Thrones, right? Perfect example. <laughs> but um, I think that if you try to go back and do it, everyone already has after 21 years not doing the show, everyone has thought about different ways that they would want it to be. And if it's not exactly the way everyone wants, then everyone's disappointed. So I feel like it's really hard to reboot something that everyone goes, oh, that's amazing. Like even sometimes like second season of Stranger Things, not as good, right? <laughs> like I feel like people are always disappointed with what they've imagined it to be as opposed to what it, what it might become. And, um, and I think that's really hard. I totally disagree. I think it would be a really easy reboot. Okay. <laughs> I would hope, but who knows? And I will do it if the two of them want to do it. I would do anything they want to do. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying I think it's a difficult thing. I think I, if we I filmed think... in Fiji, we would do it. If I it think. was Fiji. Yeah, it's like Sabrina goes to Fiji. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Thanks for the question. See, you're Thank the fourth you so generation. You're the age that you're, you're our latest babies. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jacqueline. And my mum and myself used to watch your show every single week when I was younger, getting old now. But um, my question was, what are your favourite memories of Sabrina? And if you could change anything, what would it be? Oh, there's so many. I mean, we travelled all over the place. We, did, we went to parties in Vegas. Like, we shot an episode at Disney World, Florida, to open up their Animal Kingdom. Like, we did... That was a really fun So one. many fun, wild, amazing... I mean, I... These ladies didn't get to go with me, but what I did, one of the movies in Rome and one in Australia, and um, I mean, you know, the places that Sabrina took us and the opportunities she gave us and uh, just, I mean, even just stealing the clothes. And <laughs> it was honestly like every, I can't name like one specific thing probably, but um, I don't know. There's so many good memories. There's really the gift that this show gave all of us is you sort of, it's vi when the when the show first aired, I lived in New York and I was sort of commuting almost into Los in Los Angeles. I was convinced that I had to only live in New York. So I would, every three episodes I'd go home and I was walking down the street and there were like, I would say maybe 15 teenagers 
and the show had just aired and they were running towards me and I'm like, I'm gonna be mugged by children right now. I literally, I was so scared and they kind of engulfed me and gave me like this group hug and like, oh my God, we love the show so much. And when you're part of something that makes kids happy, for me, that's like the biggest gift in the world. So we could go into children's hospitals. We could, I mean, y you look like you're an adult, but to us, you're just a kid that watched it. You know, like we have forever in our heart, like the kids that watch these shows, it's like the biggest gift as an actor. It's true. I mean, people always ask me, and I, you know, we've all worked constantly since Sabrina and, and before Sabrina, but people are like, what was your favorite job? And I'm like, there's only one answer to that, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, because we made children happy for the last 30 years in every country in the world, and you can't beat that. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the question. Well, I hope we see a reboot. I think we'd all like to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Next up. Hi, my name's Kevin. Uh, thank you uh, for coming over to Scotland. Your ladies are amazing. I hope you're having a good time as well. Meeting everyone. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm part Scottish, as you can tell by my doughy cartilage-based face. And <laughs> I, so I've, I've been here. I, I grew up coming here in the summers in Isla. I'm freezing. It was freezing in Isla in the summer. It's freezing in here. Um, I was going to say, uh, if there's any show that you uh, witches could be a part of and uh, magically appear in, which would it be and what would you do in any Ooh. show? That was a good one. What would I like to... Is there any show that Benicio Del Toro is on? That one. <laughs> I would like to zap myself there. <laughs> Stranger Things. That would be good. I think we should always show up every time there's any movie with witches. Like, just the three of us should be walking by. That's what I think, you know? I know, to be honest, and to be true to my character, which is actually me, uh, I, I don't really watch much, I just read, and I'm a nerd and a bored, boring person. So I don't really even know what show I would go on to, because I don't watch many of them. But um, I, would, I would love to run for the Senate. <laughs> okay, wait, I totally take it back. I would zap myself into um, the Vampire Diaries and be Damon's witch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be quite good. In, in I that case, could I fly dragons and house <laughs> dragons? Yeah. I get through. I get through all along as well. I think it'd be quite good in that show. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Thanks for your question. Thank you. We've only got Thank five you. left, so if we can get a couple of quick um, questions hi, in. Oh, uh, hi, my name's Cody, and I was wondering if you've ever read the Sabrina comics. I did. Well, I, I did, did before um, when when it was first handed. My mother is the executive producer, and somebody handed it to her on a playground and said, "Melissa should be in the. You should do a TV show or movie, a movie about this." And uh, that's the first time I read it, but I looked through all of them to see, uh, well, everything. What should my hair look like? What kind, how should we do the spell? Because she, in the comic book, she points at everything. Um, so little things like that to try to get some inspiration into how we should play it. Especially because we, we did a movie first. Um, and so, you know, in the movie... With Ryan Reynolds. With Ryan Reynolds. She did the movie with him. Um, and, uh, and different Hildas and Zeldas. But, um... But that first movie, it was like, you know, I was trying to, like, be a, a little bit authentic to the comic book because that was the true inspiration. The series came off the movie more so and, and became its own thing with a lot... I mean, other than Hilda Zelda and Harvey Salem, those were, like, the five characters that were from the, the comic book. And then, you know, then, of course, the writers added all these other characters and storylines and stuff, so it kind of became its own thing. But yeah, so I, I looked at it in first for inspiration, especially how she looked. You know what, in the 70s, where I'm from, um, they used to have the little um, Archie comic books, and Sabrina was in the middle. That was like the perk. Every now and then you'd meet this little character, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And once a year you would get the actual yeah. comic book, but yeah. every week she was in the, yeah, just a one-off. It's so funny. So funny when things are like in well, your life. There was life. an animated show in the 50s or 60s of Sabrina as well. There was? I've never seen it, but apparently there was. I've never read a comic book and never read that one. So, no. I did not take any inspiration from that. <laughs> Do you have any math and science questions for Zelda? <laughs> <laughs> any explosions? Thank you. That Mitosis you is. <laughs> love Thanks political for your science, anybody? We're going to squeeze one more in very, very quickly. Yeah. Horniculture. 
Hi, uh, my name's John. My question is, Sabrina had so many great guest stars. My favourite were Penn and Teller. Who was your favourite guest star that was on the show? Johnny Mathis. <laughs> he was great. on a Christmas show. He was so great. I'm obsessed with astrology, and when um, Drell, my boyfriend, um, Penn Gillette was on the show, and I said what sign are you? And he's like, that is such garbage. I don't believe in any of that crap. And I'm like, oh, you're a Capricorn. <laughs> um, I'll tell you who we didn't get. Um, who? For my grandmother. We didn't get Beyonce and she wanted to be on. Yes, she did. Well, Kelly Clarkson was apparently an extra too. Ke Kelly, Kelly Clarkson was an extra three times. Three times. Yeah. Well, we, for my grandmother, we asked Shirley Temple um, and uh, she's my idol, and always has been. And um, and she said uh, she she was like, I regretfully have to say, I gave up the business back in like 1942, <laughs> and I'm not, I can't say yes to you and nobody else. You know, she's like, I've I've, I've retired. I'm sorry, but you can come to my house. So I went and met Shirley Temple. You did? <laughs> yes. And then she gave me her life rights. If you go watch the movie Child Star, the Shirley Temple story, I produced that. My sister starred in it as the older Shirley. We did a national tour around the U.S. for the for little Shirley and for um, Billy Robinson and like the tap dance. I mean, it was wow. oh, Connie. Connie. Um, that reminds me, I have another Shirley Temple present for you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it was. Uh, I, we didn't have Shirley. I forget who played my grandmother, but it wasn't Shirley Temple. So I wish we had been able to pull that off. But whoever did it was lovely also. And we had so many great ones. Oh, you so know who my favorite is? Shirley Jones, who was Mrs. Partridge on The Partridge Family. Oh, and all the she men on set mother. were so excited that we had... Um, Allie Mills, too. Uh, your mother. Who was the, who's Bar Barbara? Barbara Eden. No. Jeannie? Oh, no. Raquel Welsh. Oh, we have Raquel yeah, Welsh Raquel play one Welsh. of Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Veld, no, Aunt something. Vespa. Vespa? Ves no. Vespa? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Aunt Vespa. Vespa. Yeah. yeah? Okay, okay, you guys know. I don't Do you know, know who Raquel Welch is? She was a total bombshell of yeah. the 70s. She was Mexican. She had the most gorgeous dark hair. She, everyone had a poster of her in like this cave dress. She was absolutely gorgeous. She was Mexican? No, she was Mexican. And, no, and she was playing our sister. And I said to her, I go, you only got cast because you look the most like us. <laughs> And I remember she just going, what do you mean? And I was like, nothing, it's okay. There's a funny blooper with her where she's supposed to have these bonbons. I think at one point she goes, bonbon? Because I'm like crying and I'm like, I want to go home. And she's like, bonbon? And at one point she goes to take a bite and the blooper is her almost cracking her tooth. And she goes, oh, oh, these aren't the kind of balls I'm used to. And everyone just lost <laughs> Everyone lost it. Lost it. We'll, we'll squeeze another one. Thanks for the question. Thanks, thanks very much. That was good. Thank Cheers. Sorry, I know we We're going to squeeze, try and squeeze okay. the last few in. Hi there, I'm Kelly. Um, I was just going to ask Melissa, how much did you love doing uh, The Masked Singer and how nervous were you? And would Caroline and Beth actually consider doing it if you haven't already? I, singing is like my biggest fear. When we did the episode of um, the Bottle of Talent episode with the Backstreet Boys, uh, I was terrified. I made them record the song. I was like, I will not sing live in front of people. It is terrifying. And there's one scene where I actually hit my face on the microphone on Sabrina. Um, but because I did that, because I made them record it, they actually put it on an album. The album went gold. That's because Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera are on there. But uh, You're backup singers, terrifying. Britney and Christina. It's a, yeah. little, yes. it's a little terrifying because um, I really hate singing live. So doing Masked Singer, I was like, uh, this is terrifying, but at least I get to wear a mask. So I was absolutely horrified, made my husband come with me. I was like, you got to calm me down. I'm freaking out. Um, but it ended up being really fun, and I tried to I tried to enjoy the experience because I knew when am I ever going to get to dress like this and sing this silly song again. So I really I really enjoyed it. You did really well. <laughs> Seriously, biggest fear. I had to sing on one Sesame Street episode. It's not good. I, I was like William Shatner. Have you ever heard him sing? Yeah, I made him look like David Bowie. I was like, yeah, that, it's my total fear singing in public. Yep. I did a movie uh, two years ago called uh, When I Think of Christmas, and they called. It was supposed to be Amy Grant was supposed to play my role. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's an incredible singer. And they're like, Amy Grant fell off her bike. Can Beth Broderick come and do it and sing Amy's songs? And I was like, um, well, I can come and sing the songs, but not like Amy can sing the songs. 
And uh, I ended up going up and singing and having this big 11 o'clock number, and I was just like, well, here we go. And it worked out fine. So, so you're, you'll do it. What mass singer. You'll be on the mass singer. <laughs> I also could not be on the mass singer because I'm so claustrophobic. I would just uh, be screaming. No. That's all you would I'm hear. I'm not, but I was that no, day. No, I would do oh. it. I would do it. But they, everybody would guess me because nobody sounds like me. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Hello, ladies. Thank you very much for being our aunties growing up in our childhood. And I'd just like to know, who would you like to have had to be your magical aunties when you were growing up? I wish Endora from Bewitched. Oh, yeah. Yes. She was my favorite witch. Yeah. She, was, she was amazing. Yeah. 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 Endora. And also, you know, we had Alice Ghostly on the show who played, what was her? She was on Bewitched as well. Yeah. I loved her. She, she was but amazing. I, I loved Maggie Smith, too. Oh, oh yes. Same Maggie. Yes. Maggie was pretty amazing. Yeah. When, Shirley, Shirley Temple. <laughs> when, Ru, when RuPaul was on the show, and she was amazing. And she said the funniest thing to us. She goes, I love this show. I love the gay ants and the gay cat. I love it. And we were like, <laughs> We're actually sisters, but okay. Well, thank you for coming, and it's lovely to see you. You are the politest group of people to be thanked upon. It's, you're so nice. Hi there. My name is Jonathan, and I've got a question for my sister. Uh, she would like to know what was your favorite era to film, like early high school, late high school, college, work? This is like a Taylor Swift question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I don't know, it was all very fun because in the beginning it was so exciting and you know we knew we had something special and at the beginning they didn't think our show would last. We were like a second thought because Clueless had just come out and it was like Clueless and then it was like, and then watch Sabrina. And then very quickly we kind of became something that nobody expected which was a big deal on, on television in the US and we were like, wow, that's interesting. We got renewed for two years, like three weeks in. Yeah, it was, it was like interesting. That never really happens where you get picked up for more than just a few episodes and we got picked up for two seasons by the second season. We were picked up through four. So that was like really special and the whole crew, everyone was so excited because we were like, oh, like in our industry there isn't longevity and there isn't like job security and we were like oh everyone has job we all get to come to work every day for the next few years that's incredible who you know young sheldon's the only other time i've heard of that help happening but um but yeah i i just i think that then you know then it was like the young cast came in not young cast but the college cast came in and it was like new blood new fun i was already friends with soleil who played uh roxy so that was exciting you know i have my friend on the show and i don't know just kind of Every season felt fresh and new and fun. And For some reason, I always think of like seasons two and three. I don't know why. Probably because of that job security thing and because we were in a groove. Like the first season and the second, beginning of the second season were very difficult because nobody knew how to do our show the way we were doing it. Um, most shows are done in front of a live audience on a Friday night or they're done where you shoot all week and there's no audience. Ours was no audience, but we shot Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but we rehearsed Monday, Tuesday. It was just a, what we call a hybrid show now. And it just hadn't been done before. And trying to figure that out, and the directors and the cat and the special effects, it was, our special effects guy went off to do Game of Thrones. And our makeup artist went off to be like one of the most award-winning makeup artists in the world. And so, you know, we had this incredible cast and crew around us and we're still trying to figure it out and get the train on the tracks. And by season yeah, two, I'm, the train was on the tracks. The, I, the, the hours were very long, sometimes 15, 16 hours. We shot 26 episodes a year, so it was really exhausting in the beginning. But I, for me, I liked the college years because I got to be a professor and I got to sort of, it was just, I, Zelda got to sort of step out of her zone and do some other things, so that was fun for me. Okay, just because it's a con, I have to tell you that we shot next to um, uh, Star Trek. So it was the greatest thing because we were there so early in the morning. And my favorite thing is we would arrive and there would be a Klingon smoking. And it'd be like, <laughs> and drinking a Coke. And I was like, I love my job. No, my favorite thing was one, I have to tell you the story. So I'm walking from my trailer to the set and I hear this huge commotion in the wardrobe room, and I look in, and the wardrobe mistress is trying to measure a, tuxi a, 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 a chicken for a tuxedo. <laughs> and the chicken did not want to wear a tuxedo. And so there was such a, a hullabaloo going on in there, and I thought, 
Who else goes to work and sees that? Okay, I also Thank remember you. the pirate episode is also my favorite, one of those. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that's just question. Final question. Hi, sorry. I apologize because my question as a finance question is not perfect and it's for bed, but I got curious because a few times you mentioned that there is a necklace you like a lot. May I ask you why you like it and how it looks like? Why did I like what? Why did you like the necklace that you were talking oh, about before? Oh, oh the one necklace. It, it's, uh, it's very witchy. Yeah. It has a, like this really kind of medallion. It looks like an old like family crest. So I like to think of it as the Spellman crest, you know, and I keep it. I wear it for luck a lot. Do you know how they got me to do this show? I'm not kidding. I was in Hawaii, and I was going out with this horrible man, and... Um, he had really hairy shoulders, I'm just telling you. And I call, they were like the epaulets of fur. We used to call it the captain in the bear army. Okay, you got it? Okay. And he smelled bad, I'm just telling you. And he broke up with me. And then um, my managers had passed on this. They were such bozos. They were like, so the day before, the woman who created the show called me and said, um, there's this show, but your manager's always passed on it. You sure you don't want to reconsider? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. They've never mentioned this to me at all. I go, tell me about the character. And she said, well, you trap a man in your ring for not loving you. And I said, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for that final question. Uh, on behalf of all of Comic Con Scotland, I'd like to say thank you. A uh, big round of applause for thank our you panel. Guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. To the Spellmans. Uh, thank you.